Getting started with Busy for India. Hello. First of all, thank you for your interest in Busy. Are you thinking about downloading Busy? Or have you already installed it and are wondering how to get started? If so, this video is just for you. In this video, we will see how to download Busy, install it and how to use Busy. So let's get started. To download Busy, go to www.busy.in and here click on free trial to download the setup. Fill in the information. But please note that this free trial copy is valid only for 15 days. Once you submit, you will receive an email with the download link for the free trial copy. Click here to download the setup, which will start the download process. After a successful download, extract the folder and then install the setup. Follow the simple process for installing Busy. After Busy is successfully installed, you will see the Busy icon on your desktop. Click on it to open Busy. Once you open Busy, a security validation pop-up will appear as you are currently using a demo copy which is valid for 15 days. Now, in Busy, the first step is to create a company. Click on create company and if you need detailed training on Busy, you can select yes. But for now, let's choose no. Specify the company's information such as the company name, financial year, address, pin code and other necessary details. You can also specify the details of your accountant CA if you wish. Next, you need to enable GST for the company. Select yes or no. And if you select yes, you will need to specify the GST number. Now finally, save the information. Please note that after creating the company, you can modify any information except for the beginning financial year. After successful creating the company, on the next screen, you will set up user authentication, which means setting up a username and password for the company. For this screen, you will create the super user for the company and then save the details. After completing these steps, you will be logged into the company. On this screen, you will see the trade specific configuration tab, which allows you to configure setting specific to your trade with just one click. Additionally, links to the trade specific videos are also available in the description, which you can refer to for configuring settings according to your trade. After creating the company, the next step is to create masters such as party account, bank account and items. To do this, go to the administration section and access the master tab. Here you will find multiple options including add, modify and list. First, let's add account. In the account section, add parties by specifying their name, group, address and GST number. Then save the information. Similarly, create another party but this time create it using the GST IN. Press F4 specify the GST number and validate it and then after click on update back and quit to automatically fill in all the party details within a second. Save the information. Next create an expense account and tag it under expense indirect group. Specify details such as tax category, HSN code, ITC eligibility and RCM nature. Then save the information. Finally create a bank account, specify all the necessary details and save it. Now, if you need to make any changes to any account in the account master, simply click on modify. Next, let's add item to the master. Here, you will provide necessary information such as the item name, group, which you can create using the shortcut F3 if needed. Specify the unit, select the text category, mention the HSN code and if required, specify details like sale price, purchase price, MRP, etc. If the sale price includes tax, as mentioned above, select yes for this option. Then save the information. Similarly, add another item, input all the necessary details and save it. After creating the master record, let's move on to the transaction where you can add various types of transactions such as sales, purchase, payment, receipts, etc. First, let's add a purchase transaction. In this, enter the date, voucher number and select the purchase type using local for local transaction and central for interstate transaction that is central transaction. For multiple taxes, you will find options like item wise, multi rate and tax inclusive. For now, let's select the central multi rate, then select the party name, specify ITC eligibility as input goods and service and input item details such as name, quantity, rate. After that, use F4 key to apply GST tax automatically according to the item tax rate and the tax summary will be displayed. Now, then after save this voucher. Similarly, let's add a sale voucher. 
input the date, sale type, party name, item information including quantity, rate and any applicable discounts and check if the text has been calculated automatically. Then save the voucher. When printing for the first time, it will be in the standard format. For configuring the details such as bank information, company logo on invoices, terms and condition and then save. This way, the invoice will be printed accordingly. Since you are currently using a demo copy, the busy watermark will be printed. Now, let's add a payment voucher. Here, select the date and GST nature. For now, choose not applicable as we are not applying GST to this payment. In the debit section, select the party name and enter the amount. And in the bill by bill window, choose the bill against which the payment is being made. Then in the credit section, select either bank or cash and then after save. Similarly, if you need to post an expense entry, debit the expense account with the amount and credit either bank or cash, then save. Similarly, let's add a receipt voucher. If you have received money from party, enter the date, select the party name in the credit section, specify the bill against which the payment was received and choose cash or bank in the debit section, then save. So in this way, you can add multiple transactions. Now let's check the reports. Navigate to display and choose account books to view the account ledger. Specify the account name, date range and click OK to view the ledger. Now let's look at Busy's outstanding analysis report. You can view bills receivable or bills payable and aging receivable or payable report. Let's open bills receivable for one account. Select pending, due or all as per your needs. Then click OK to view the outstanding amount for parties as you can see on the screen. Now let's check the stock report under the stock status. View the closing stock alphabetically, choosing between balance only or detailed. In the detailed mode, you will see the item wise detailed information like quantity in, quantity out and closing stock. Similarly, in the balance only mode, only the closing stock of the item will be displayed. Next, let's open the trial balance to view all accounts with their closing balances. Here you can check the accuracy of your books. Then for the balance sheet, go to final result configuration, click on balance sheet and from there you can also view the profit and loss statement. Let's now explore the GST reports. Under GST summary, you can view details of your input and output text. Press F4 for automatic adjustment entries. You can access GSTR1 and 3B reports along with returns. Additionally, in the GST register, you can view outward and inward supplies. Now moving on to the busy shortcut available on the right side. Here you will find the search menu which helps you to easily find any busy feature or report. For a complete list, refer to the shortcut available in the help section. You can also create your own shortcut according to your preferences. For example, to create a shortcut for adding sales, click on create shortcut and specify the key. In busy, you can streamline your daily tasks by consolidating them into one menu. For instance, if you frequently need to add sales, you can mark it as a favorite. Similarly, for reports, you can regularly view. You can add them to your favorites as well. These tasks and reports will then be conveniently accessible from the favorite menu, making it easier for you to manage. You can also have the option to hide other menus if you prefer a cleaner interface. Now let's explore Busy's user management feature, where you can add multiple users and define their rights. For example, you can add a user with only sales related transactions right and remove rights for reports like final result. Once defined, save the setting. Now, whenever this user logs in, they will only see sales related transaction with the rest hidden as you can see on the screen. Next, let's talk about Busy's data security. For this purpose, Busy provides a utility called Busy Agent, which automatically backs up your data locally and on Google Drive. So that was a brief demo of Busy for any support feel free to call our 24 by 7 support helpline at 82828 28282. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.